We are 10 days out from the Pac-12 Big Ten Showdown in Pasadena, California for the 102nd Rose Bowl. As Stanford will stay in their home state of California, Iowa and their fans will travel 1,978 miles to the West Coast. As this is a historic moment for this Iowa program and everyone that surrounds it, to the players, they mean business. We're just looking at it as another game. We're not necessarily taking it, you know, revenge in the Rose Bowl or anything like that. Um, it's, it's a new season, you know, we, we came out, we had a great regular season, we had that loss to Michigan State, and now we're, uh, we're looking to finish the season strong. It's definitely something for, uh, you know, as this team, that, well, this team has accomplished all year, and not, not many Iowa teams have gone to the Rose Bowl, and it's been a while since we have, and, you know, I think it's an accomplishment for this, this team, and it, and it's, uh, you know, it goes as a result to a good season that we had. This Stanford team has been compared to teams in the Big Ten, especially Michigan State. As for Stanford's roster, I was going to have to look out for running back Christian McCaffrey. You know, it's really a, an amazing thing. He's a tremendous football player. Seems like a tremendous young man on top of that. And uh, so our preparation, as you might imagine, you know, it starts right there. You better, better find a way to try to contain him a little bit. And that's going to take a really great team effort. Not, not only defensively, but on special teams as well, offense and def or excuse me, punting and, and kickoff. Going back to Iowa and the road to where they got, it's been consumed by injuries, especially that of Jake Doozy, the tight end, who was injured before the season, running back Jordan Kanzeri, who was injured and had problems with his ankle all throughout the season. But both of those players are feeling good. I feel great. I'm ready to go, and that's uh, something that, you know, I'm just grateful for the medical staff getting me in this point in time. And, I'm just I'm happy that I'm, I'm ready where I am, just that I have uh, the opportunity to put in a lot of work until that game and uh, just get my body as uh, best prepared as possible. But I feel great, so I'm ready. I'm trying to help the guys out and do everything I can to make sure that we're uh, prepared to go on game day and help the tight ends with whatever I can. So, I mean, I'm always there for them, and we watch film together as like a group of us three. And uh, I mean, if they have questions, they'll come to me on the sideline, and I'm always looking for stuff on game day for them, too. As anyone can tell, this team isn't done yet, and it's not going to get done by just one player. Everybody plays together. We all play for, you know, the coaches. We all play for each other. Um, nobody's trying to be their own person. Nobody's trying to go out um, out of their way to do the, a different role. We're all just trying to do our role um, and play to our best ability. Stick with Daily Iowa at TV Sports as we will be updating you throughout the whole Rose Bowl experience. Reporting outside Kinnick Stadium, Taylor Brooks, Daily Iowa TV Sports.